All right, so we need to talk. I don't know how many people from here who are on YouTube with me follow me on Instagram too, or have been following what's going on with like stuff. Yesterday, on my board sponsor, Mode, um, the guys I've been riding with for like the last seven years, I love Mode. They made the announcement that I'll actually be leaving after this run of boards sells. So they printed one last batch of boards and we wanted to let everyone know that you can get them right now before uh, they're gone and like not gonna be made again. Um, so it's like not that early, but I just woke up because it's just been a crazy, hectic week. I don't really have much of a Sunday video for you, so I apologize, but I wanted to put something together just to explain what's going on a bit and like what, like, I don't know, just if you aren't following me in mode on Instagram, you'll know now via this uh, what the hell is happening. I started writing for mode in like 2010. I was at like a contest with Terry, who at the time and even today is still my favorite freestyle skateboarder. Ever. No competition. There's there's always a number two, three, and four that changes, but number one is always Terry Sinat. This is Terry. Clearly he's the best. And we all copy him with everything we do. So 2010, we, we met at a contest. I skated okay, kind of shitty in this Philadelphia contest. And he put me on the team, which was incredible. I was like, I think 17, 16, 17, and fully shitting my pants about to join a team with like my favorite skateboarder. He was running it, he had this creative freedom, he had this vision for it, and I was so hyped on it. Another thing was my, my other friend, Connor Burke, who was consistently my second favorite skateboarder of all time. Sorry, Connor. He was on the team too. And to be still riding with him and being able to like work and collaborate with him with Mode was huge for me. Mode gave me my first pro board. It was special and a lot of things and a lot of things and I don't really have the words to fully explain what that all meant to me. I should get coffee. I need coffee. Give me one moment. So, yeah, on top of giving me my own pro model, they gave it to me when I was at college and broke, and having a board to ride when you're, you know, eating ramen and, like, hanging out at the library every day and probably not putting out very much footage, that's awesome. That means a lot to me. On top of that, they gave me a shape that was, like, so unique and gave me so much freedom to make my shape for me, and people hated it, some people loved it, Terry, I don't think, fully understood it when it first came out. That's awesome. They, like, trusted me to, like, be creative and put something out that hadn't been made before. Why, how could I ever not be stoked on these guys? Jenna Sinat, who is the face behind Mode, who really makes all the graphics, does so much of the creative side of things. She gave me two graphics in the time I've been with Mode that have been so personalized and so unique to me. The grasshopper board was based on me working in a grasshopper lab. I worked in an entomology lab at Illinois State. After that, we have the fortune graphic, which was based on me moving out to California and this whole idea of, you know, your fate is in your hands, which I feel like I kind of live by. And I guess this next move is sort of that. It's sort of an extension of that idea, right? They've been more than supportive and, and they've done so much to help me grow in my skating and my personal life and professional life and whatever. And I have no hard feelings towards mode, but there are things that I want to try and experiments I want to make and, and things I want to attempt to do with freestyle and with my personal brands and with my channels that I need to have a little bit more freedom with in terms of what I'm writing and how I'm presenting myself. And although Mode and, and what Mode does and the, the vision that Terry and Jenna have for Mode is incredible and it's its own unique thing and I fully support it and will continue to like be stoked on Mode for the rest of my life, I need to go off and do something else and although I can't say much about it right now, I will have more to say and more details to share with you in the next maybe week or two. I just wanna come on here and basically say thank you to Terry and Jenna and Mike Rogers and Dave Vay and Connor Burke and everyone else who had a part in mode. Yeah, it's time for something new. Ugh. I'm gonna go drink this coffee now and go to and go to sleep. I'll go skate actually. Uh, but I'll see y'all soon. Stay tuned and uh, we'll check in on Thursday. It's Thursday. It's this Thursday. I think that's like the 15th or something for a trick tip. We'll do another freestyle trick tip. You guys know the drill. I uh, hope you enjoyed last week's. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you have any other questions, you want to try to pick my brain or guess what the hell's going on, comment below. And we'll see you soon. Keep dancing. Mm -hmm.